Today is World Lung Cancer Day, and the goal is to raise awareness about the leading cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. A new survey shows that many Americans don't know about early detection. CBS 2's Danya Backus tells us how screening helped save one woman's life. Denise Lee passed a billboard like this every day on the way home from work in 2017, encouraging lung cancer screening for people at high risk. She had just quit smoking after 40 years. I was just trying to all around get healthy. Yeah, I did not know that there was such a thing as a low dose CT scan until I saw that billboard. She asked her doctor about screening, but had to wait a few months until she turned 55 to be eligible. She scheduled her scan later and it revealed early stage 1B lung cancer. I had my upper left lobe removed. I had 17 lump nodes removed. And then I had some uh, factors that were indicative of a higher rate of recurrence. A new American Lung Association survey shows nearly 70% of Americans are not familiar with the availability of lung cancer screening for early detection. 75% of people in this country who are diagnosed with lung cancer are diagnosed at this most advanced stages where it's hardest to cure. Dr. David Tom Cook is the chief of general thoracic surgery at UC Davis Health. Of all the Americans who are candidates only 5% of Americans undergo lung cancer screening. Guidelines now recommend screening for people between age 50 and 80 with a 20 pack year smoking history. And current smokers are ones who have quit within the last 15 years. Denise had surgery and only needed four rounds of chemotherapy. Early detection, you know, saved my life. I'm just really passionate about people who are eligible getting screened. She was also able to take part in a clinical trial testing an immunotherapy drug to try to prevent recurrence. Donya Back is CBS News. For more information on your risk or lung cancer, rather for lung cancer, and whether you are eligible for a screening, you can take the Saved by the Scan quiz from the American Lung Association. Find it on our website, cbsnewyork.com.